What's that? You just got a Corda and you want to use it with Logic? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about getting started using Corda as a MIDI controller with Apple's Logic Pro X. Start by connecting Corda to your computer. You can use a cabled connection or connect via Bluetooth using the Artifon Connect app. Just navigate to Settings, click on Bluetooth, and click Connect in the pop-up window next to your Corda in the list of available Bluetooth devices. We have a lot of Artifon instruments in our list, but chances are you'll only have one. If you're using Corda as a MIDI controller, chances are you won't need to hear the onboard sounds coming from Corda's speaker. So feel free to turn the volume all the way down using the side buttons. This won't affect Corda's ability to be used as a MIDI controller. Now that Corda is connected, open Logic and create a new empty project. You'll be greeted with the Create New Track dialog. Since we're using Corda as a MIDI controller, we'll need a MIDI track. The MIDI track selection has two sub options, Software Instrument and External MIDI. We want to use Corda to control software instruments within Logic, rather than using Logic to control external hardware. So we'll go with Software Instrument. In most cases, if you've got Corda connected to your computer and have created a software instrument track, you should hear sound played back from Logic right away if you touch a pad. Logic defaults to loading an instrument that plays a sine wave on each new software instrument track. This, of course, is quite boring. You can press Y on your computer keyboard to open the library panel, where you can find tons of stock Logic sounds. Sounds from the library load into the currently selected track when clicked. Most of the stock software instrument patches that Logic has available will respond to gestures, especially tilt. Try out different gestures on Corda with different stock Logic sounds and see what you get. One cool thing to try is using per part MIDI mode to control different tracks within Logic using Corda's four modes. You can switch between MIDI modes from settings in the Artifon Connect app. We recommend having Artifon Connect installed on your Mac so you can easily switch between MIDI modes and adjust other settings when using Corda as a controller with your computer. Corda has three different MIDI modes. MPE, which stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression, Single Channel, and Per Part. When in Per Part MIDI mode, each of Corda's parts, drum, bass, chord, and lead, is sent out on its own MIDI channel. Normally, when you record enable more than one track, you'll hear both instruments playing back at the same time when you play a note on your MIDI controller. This is because by default, software instrument tracks in Logic are set to take the input of all MIDI channels. When in per part mode, Corda's lead lives on MIDI channel one. If we were to go into a tracks inspector panel and change the MIDI in channel from all to one, this track will only be triggered by Corda when in lead mode. Let's create four software instrument tracks and load drum, bass, chord, and lead sounds into them. Now, let's go through and change the MIDI in channels to align with the parts. In per part mode, drum lives on channel 10, bass on channel 9, chord on 16, and lead on 1. Now, if all four tracks are record enabled, we can switch between parts on Corda and Logic will follow along. This is great for recording an arrangement or even looping. We've created a template Logic project that's available for download on our website. It's full of sounds that were designed to work well with Corda, and each part is already set to its associated MIDI channel. So if you record enable one of the tracks for each part, you can switch between modes just like we demonstrated as long as your Corda is in per part MIDI mode. Feel free to check it out and explore the different curated sounds in that project. Another great thing to do is jump into creating your own custom gesture mappings. You could do this with most of Logic's software instruments, and RetroSynth is a great place to start. In Logic, navigate to the Inspector panel on the far left of the screen, where you can see the volume slider for the selected track along with other controls. This is where you can change the instrument loaded onto your software instrument track. Select RetroSynth from the drop-down menu, and you'll see a new, cool-looking synth window pop up. RetroSynth isn't the most advanced-looking software synthesizer because it's designed to emulate the look, feel, and sounds of analog synths. That doesn't mean it can't produce really cool patches, though, and it's got the perfect interface for customizing what Corda's gestures control. 
In the bottom right corner of the RetroSynth window, there is a little settings button. It opens a panel that has two sections. We'll focus on the right section of this panel, the controller settings. We've got four different sliders with four different MIDI messages and their destinations, each of which we can customize. Let's start with the mod wheel message. The mod wheel MIDI message corresponds to Corda's tilt gesture. This means that whatever we choose from the two drop-down menu is the parameter that will be controlled when we tilt our Corda. Let's leave this as filter cutoff. We then have a slider. When it's moved to the right, the filter cutoff value will increase when we tilt. And when it's moved to the left, it will decrease. Note velocity and aftertouch are two more MIDI messages that correspond to Corda's gestures, velocity and press. The brightness MIDI message corresponds to radiate on Corda. So if we choose 74, brightness, from the drop-down menu, we can create a controller mapping for radiate too. You might be thinking, wait, but what cool things can I do with Corda's other MIDI modes? Let's talk about MPE, or MIDI Polyphonic Expression, when using Corda with Logic. When Corda is in MPE mode, you can have two of Corda's pads sending separate radiate, pitch bend, or press values, rather than having one radiate value applied to all the notes, like it does in other MIDI modes. Logic requires manual setup within plugins to access MPE compatibility. Let's go back to RetroSynth for a second and click this tiny little drop-down arrow in the bottom left of the window. This gives us access to a drop-down to turn on MIDI mono mode. When Corda is in MPE mode and we choose one of the options other than off from this drop-down list, we now have MPE enabled in Logic and Corda so they can speak the same language. That's all for now, and we wish you the best of luck on your Corda and Logic journey. We can't wait to see what you create.